Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jeff's Musical Car coming to you from the beautiful village of Hillsboro. And this week I have a very special treat. I have uh, Fred Penner and he's going to be playing a song for me. So uh, <laughs> welcome to Jeff's Musical Car. Uh, Jeff, it's, uh, it, Jeff, it is a pleasure to be here uh, driving down this lovely... Is this the 114 that we're uh, on right now? I think so, yeah. I think it's south of, uh, south of Hillsboro. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day, glorious day this, uh, this, this July boar festival time and yeah. there's a little a little guinea hen or something just crossed the road in front of us here that's yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's not out of like, the ordinary looked like breakfast to me <laughs> all right so yeah there's good so to much, be here thank you there's so much to talk about you've been doing this for a long time and uh that's true and it's kind of neat because i grew up listening to your music and watching your show and now i have a five-year-old and he's listening to your music and i'm sure you get that a lot of people that they grew up on you and now yeah. their children are <laughs> uh i do that's part of the fascinating portion of my life is that uh, I've been doing it for well 42 years ha started in 1972 and the children's world evolved uh, towards the end of the 70s and then TV series a dozen albums and almost a thousand CBC Fred Penner's place episodes mm -hmm. so it's been an interesting uh, interesting journey and now that that generation are are growing up and as you said having their own families there's seems to be a an excitement about reconnecting with the influences that the parents had. Yeah. So um, it must be hard to pick a song for this, but uh, <laughs> what, what song did you choose to play? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I thought rather than doing something that was from my children's repertoire, because I've been playing many of the universities across the country, yeah. you know, connecting with that, with your generation, with that generation. Mm -hmm. And I was up a year ago in Arts Wells, Wells, B.C., <clears throat> in the Quinell area, and uh, and I was running a, a four-day songwriting workshop, and because I was trying to inspire other performers to get into the the songwriting creative mode, it inspired me to uh, to go that direction. And I was sitting in the Wells Hotel, which has about uh, twenty rooms, beautiful old old space, and I'm sitting there having breakfast, and there's a young fellow. With, uh, with three or four friends off in the corner, and they're getting into a pretty serious conversation about about his life. He's saying, you know, things just haven't been going that well. I've been working. I haven't been paid for months. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then he starts describing some of his dreams and uh, and concepts of where he wants to go and what he wants to uh, do with his life. And uh, and I started listening to this, and I thought, this is great material. Mm -hmm. So I scrolled down notes as he was talking. And uh, and the song and this song came out, and I did sing it the next night at a, at their local uh, theater, and the fellow was there and he recognized his world, wow. so we had a nice connection after that fact. But uh, it's called Building a House. Okay, I'm excited to hear it. Thinking about building a house on top of a hill. Maybe someday, maybe I will, but before I do, I'd like to see the world. Before I do, I'd like to see the world. Thinking about settling down, kids and a wife, I could be happy the rest of my life. But before I do, I'd like to see the world. I do. I'd like to see the world. I'd like to take a plane to Amsterdam by myself, find out who I am. Europe and Asia are beckoning me. Say, hurry, boy, while you're fancy free. Or a URL pass, hop on a train north to south and back again when the wanderlust put to bed, I'll hurry home, rest my weary head. I'm disconnected, 
ill at ease Will I ever find peace in the lakes and trees? My heart tells me, learn to chill My head keeps saying, you never will Is it life made up of dreams? Is anything really the way it seems? Countries crumble, people cry, I feel regret. If I didn't try, if I didn't try Think about building a house on top of a hill Maybe someday, maybe I will But before I do, I'd like to see the world before I do, I'd like to see the world. Before I do, I'd like to see the world. That was fantastic. Good, so, thanks. So, I, I haven't had a lot of opportunity to uh, to sing it over the while, but yeah. I, but a few times, and I, I I seem to remember it all. So that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so you you seem to have done almost everything you could possibly do in the um, the market of children's entertainment. Uh, is there any goals you kind of have still going forward? Like, wh wh where do you go from here now? Boy, oh boy. I mean, it's it's still a very very full full life as my my touring has moved into so many of the festivals across the country. I mean, mm -hmm. after, after Boar here in Hillsborough, I'm heading to Evolve in Antigonish, okay. doing that for the third, uh, third time. Um, I love doing the festivals because it is such an eclectic group of people and I'm able to connect with, with the children or with the parents, even the grandparents. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I, th th that broad spectrum is really important for me. Um, there's a couple of YouTube Series is that that I'm I'm looking at, mm -hmm. the, that I am involved with one called the Plateaus, okay. which uh, which is is in uh, we've done the pilot already, and hopefully the production will get going this fall. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about uh, about doing that. I, I I am an actor as well, and I did a lot of theater in the in the 70s and mm -hmm. and learning the skills of getting on a stage and performing and character roles and that kind of thing. I've done a lot of musical comedy. And every five years or so, another play will come up. And this December, in a couple of months, uh, in November, I'll be rehearsing. And in December, I'm playing Captain Hook at the Manitoba Theatre for Young People in Winnipeg. Okay. So uh, playing a little bit against the, the, the general type of Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. I play the bad guy. But it's, uh, I, I did this before, about 10 years ago. So I'm quite excited about about the acting world, I'd love to get into some television stuff as you know as well in the uh, you know guest guest spots on something. Mm -hmm. um, but I but I need to get proactive about about that direction. Of course, maybe now that the series that your Jeff's in the car business, yeah. people will be watching this. Say, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get Fred into the series. You never know. You never know. Let's it could be the case. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> checks in the mail yeah uh, so yeah so I'm interested in doing that I have lots of music projects that are in in the works mm -hmm. I, I did a, a uh, some recording with Hoxley workman yeah uh, great. a few years ago and we've he got really busy I got really busy so we've never sort of got to the point of really completing it but um, hopefully that will get to some resolution this fall I'm in the process of of moving from my uh, my family home in Winnipeg to a condo okay. in the middle of September. Uh, before that, I'm going to be in, in Europe for three weeks, not performing, but just taking a holiday, a well-deserved holiday yeah. in, uh, in Italy. My partner and I are going to, going to spend, uh, spend time tripping around the, uh, the Italian countryside. That's quite excited great. about that. And then uh, 
back to the Ottawa Folk Festival in the end of or the first week of September, the tenth weekend, and uh, and then a few gigs over the over the fall, and then the play starts, and then we've got a new year coming. So it doesn't show any signs of stopping. Oh, that's the you keep busy. That's the neat part of it. I'm I'm uh, I'm healthy and creative in that order. Mm-hmm. Uh, life is has dealt me a number of curves that I'm handling well, and uh, yeah, the evolution of of life uh, carries on, and I'm, I'm quite excited about the prospects in the future as a, as a musician, as an actor, as whatever whatever yeah. I whatever I'm going to be when I grow up. Yeah, all right. Well, lots of exciting things happening, and um, I wish you best of luck in the future with with your future projects. And uh, I guess that's it for this episode of Just Musical Car with Fred Penner, and we'll we'll uh, sign off with this. The cat came back the very next day, the cat came, they thought he was a god, but the cat came back, he just couldn't stay away. Now old Mr. Jeff had troubles of his own, he had a yellow cat who wouldn't leave his home, he tried and he tried to give the cat away, he gave it to a man going far, far away. Very next day, the cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. Meow. That goes out to my cat, Sheena. <laughs> <laughs>